Well, tonight, an update on CBS Colorado investigation across multiple states. Years ago, Brian Moss told us about Heather Schwab. She was deemed a serial squatter because she moved from place to place without ever paying any rent. She had done this before even coming to Colorado. Reports out of Texas say she and her husband were evicted more than 20 times there. She got caught, convicted, went to prison. She served 16 months before she was released in 2020. And this is where things get interesting. Attorneys say that she moved to Texas and is now doing the same thing. And this time it could cost a woman her home. Andrea Lucia from our sister station in Dallas has this story. Soon after buying this corner house in Roundlet last year, a job transfer forced Jessica and Colin Davis to move. It is a four bedroom, two bathroom house with a in-ground pool and a hot tub. I miss my house because it was awesome. They rented the home to a woman they knew as Ray's Rubel, who they met through Zillow. They verified her. Her records came out clean. The deposit and first month's rent payment showed as pending, but then... Three days later, insufficient funds. As checks kept bouncing, Davis tried looking up Ray's Rubel online. The only name that I can come up with this is a 72-year-old individual. That 72-year-old she found did have a relative with a name she'd seen before, Heather Schwab. It was on the messages Davis initially received through Zillow. Her renter denied being her. She goes, oh no, that's just my friend's name. And I got like a sinking gut feeling. But searching the name online, Davis discovered this. I'm going to introduce you to Heather and William Schwab. Court records show that they've been getting evicted since 2005. I like to call them serial squatters. What are you talking about? Well, the, you and your husband, you don't pay rent and you keep going into more expensive okay, homes I when know. you owe thousands of dollars in back rent. We started looking into Heather Schwab and her husband, William, back in 2017, after several homeowners said the couple was exploiting the eviction process to live rent free. These people are chronically just victimizing and no one's holding them accountable. In 2018, Heather Schwab moved to Colorado, where she faced two more evictions. Police there arrested her for felony theft. She spent nearly a year and a half in prison and two and a half more on parole before returning to Texas. Hello, Heather? When we visited Davis's house, no one came to the door. We asked police about the case, and they decided to show up too. Still, no answer. But an hour after officers took off, our photographer was still there as the front door opened, and Heather and a man walked out. We tried again to catch up to her with no luck. Hi, uh, this is Andrea Lucia with CBS News Texas. Our phone calls have gone to voicemail. The wireless customer you are calling is not available. And numbers, Davis says she called for references no longer appear to be working. I'm going to lose my house. That's the first thing. I'm losing my house. Without any rental income, Davis says she can't afford to pay the mortgage and her own rent in Florida. How are you dealing with this? I'll be moving in with family. So now you're without a home. Yes. Yeah, I have to move my daughter once again. Davis says she called police and the Dallas County DA only to be told it was a civil issue, not a criminal one. And she's getting away with this. And nobody besides you guys wants to hear about it. Davis has started the eviction process. She shut off the water, too. Days later, though, the city of Rowlett received an application from someone named Heather Rubel to open a new account for water service and turned it back on. But when the city noticed problems with that application, off it went again. Is the water off now? The water is off. It's has devastating. Been. It is so devastating. With laws in place to protect renters and eviction cases backlogged, Davis has discovered kicking a serial squatter out isn't easy. She's now fighting for her home, frustrated. There's not more help available. Why are you guys protecting her? Why is Texas protecting her? Because she did this maybe once or twice in Colorado and they put her in prison.